now. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Welcome back to Fallout 4, guys. We made it to Diamond City. We got healed up. Check out my HP. It's all white. No more red. And, uh... Ugh. That's like what a, uh, a person who has red hair says when they get old. It's all white. No more red. <laughs> what am I talking about? All right. Let's get into your Diamond City and see what's going on. We're supposed to go visit um, some uh, detective place. Somewhere in the back or something? Power noodles. Love it. Now a swatter, that's a real weapon. Okay, Dr. Mo Cronin, he'll fix you up. Home plate? Oh, those are cool you names for stores. We have everything. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open. Where is, um, that schoolhouse? Oh, here it is. Detective. That's funny, it's um third street, like probably first, second, third, and then home base. Where's the door to the detective agency? Because that says greenhouse. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from Matt's my cousin. To talk to people he knows I don't a guy know. that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow. The Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the synths. Got a reason for bothering me? Get lost. Diamond City Surplus! Open 24 hours! We made it. Alright, let's see what okay, this place is all about. Last forever. Wait, what? His ties. Oh, Nick. What? Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Wait, who are you? You the detective? Me? No, I'm Nick's secretary. Handle his appointments, his papers, that sort of thing. Well, that's what I used to do anyway, but now Nick's disappeared and I can't keep a detective agency open without a detective. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Okay, we got a quest going here. A couple that we picked up just in the last minute or two. Um, let's take a look. We can level up. First, let's do a game save. How's everybody doing? Oh, whoa, we got another one. Unlikely Valentine, Find Nick Valentine. Okay. How's everyone doing? Um, <laughs> I was, I was trying to, to start this video and end the last one. I was trying to press stop and start recording right in the middle of a sentence, but I don't know if it worked or not. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, I'm going to, uh, upgrade. So, I think I'm going to upgrade Charisma. It seems to be pretty important here. In this game. So, let's go... Let me, let me take a look around. I want to be, let me be smart about this. Iron Fist. Gunslinger. That's pretty good. <laughs> Can't lie. <coughs> Commando. What am I using mostly? Snipe and shotgun.
sneak, bloody mess, mysterious stranger. Card's level 22, I don't have that yet. I'm gonna go with this one right here, Gunslinger. Done. All right. So, can I? This is stealing. Yeah, let's get, let's beat it. All right, we gotta go find Nick Valentine. That's a cool. That's a cool name. Very um. Very a uh, novel character in a novel name. You know, some kind of detective. Whoa, what the? Who are you? Hey, I know you. You're that Minuteman, Gavi. I really look up to you guys. Hey, I appreciate it. You guys are great. Here, I want you to have this. I'm sure you'll put it to good use. Every little bit helps. We'll be sure to put this to good use. Yeah, that's Keep cool. Keep walking. <laughs> what, he's all nice to him and addicted to me? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Okay, so um, let's get to the map. Oh, we're supposed to go to Piper's up. Well, let's follow the whatever the one this is 40 foot one, 37, 33, 29, 25. Where is this girl's office? Oh, it's right over here. I see this white door. Here we go. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Who's Blue? Hey, Piper. Holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Not now, Piper. All right. It can wait. For a bit. Are we inside? I guess she has a trash can inside. The synthetic truth. Okay, well, I mean... I you ready for that interview now, Blue? Uh, should we do it, or should we... Fine, let's do All it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Mm. Why is that important? I'm here now, aren't I? I told you, this is a perspective piece. People in Diamond City need to know you're from a different world than them. So, what was the vault like? Mm. Normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Normalcy is a bit of a relative concept in the Commonwealth, but... Okay. I can work with that. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Hmm... How do you think? Fun destroying things gives me hope. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? 
You heard wrong. I'm not looking for anyone. Don't lie to me, Blue. This is your story. Don't you want people to know the truth? Why do you care? This is news. No one else in Diamond City may care about the missing, but my paper does. I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? Oh, so I, I have to say it to her. Okay, whatever. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back? Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Okay. Nothing stays hidden forever. Does she have a Please. gun? On five, my say. <laughs> I mean, is she, like, is she a good companion? I don't know. I'm gonna take, I'm taking this dude with me. I'm not taking her. We're like Minutemen, dude. We gotta go together. All right. Now we got... Hey, you that trader? Up from Quincy? You sell any ointment? I got me this itch. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Let's do a game save. Get the heck out of Diamond City. Whoa. Beware the red... Oh, amazing. Those are cool. They look like those little, um, bake them in the oven things, you know? <laughs> what are they? Are easy? What? No. What are those called? Shrinky dinks. You guys know what shrinky dinks are? <laughs> it's a real thing. Look it up. Shrinky dinks. I don't think they make them anymore. Oh, 
All right, we need to switch it up to something a little more suited for the outdoors. Now, we gotta, wait a minute, this way, 2017. See those big lights? That's right, work on electricity. I don't understand. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, two, one. Is there like an underground? Can we take the bus? <laughs> Let's take a look. Um, quests. Unlikely. Oh, find Nick Valentine. Is that what the N is? Oh, no. N is north. What is this water drop? Honestly, guys, I'm confused on which uh, marker I'm supposed to be following. I got this thing with a door here. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way way kind of far out and see what happens. Let's take a look at the map. Mm. Well, Finding Valentine, Swan's Pond. We can fast travel to Hallucinogen, Inc. <laughs> can you imagine working at a place like that? I have a friend that works at um, <clears throat> HyperX, and they have, like, uh, company giveaways, you know, because they make, like, RAM and SSDs and stuff. I think SSDs are real popular. SSDs and probably um, SD cards. And they have, like, a lot of company giveaways for, like, little things. <clears throat> So, uh, <laughs> if you were to hallucinogen, you should get going. Can you imagine the perks you would get? Like the contests? Let's go, Prest. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's not telling us to go in there. that small explosion was the the final one <laughs> that was a sloppy mess all right i think i took care of these guys off camera yeah I, uh, yep, see, I screwed up and I uh, recorded no video, only audio. So this one is uh, lost. <laughs> Sorry about that. What's ticking?
<laughs> I love the taunts, man. They're, they're so good. Ooh. Ooh. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get sneaky. We're gonna get sneaky. Watch this. Where is he? Yeah. I'm stuck. I'm absolutely stuck. I'm stuck. I thought I was stuck. Oh my. I've got this one. guys, we need one of these guys. One of these guys. He's almost down. <laughs> Got it. Finally. Whew. <laughs> they are not happy. This guy's almost done. Almost done. Okay. I've got this one. Oh, what the heck do I keep getting stuck on right there? Stealth boys. Ah, face me, you gotta be a good fight. Laser rifles. 
so good. This is a good weapon in this game, guys. It's a little bit upgraded, but not much. This is, this is a dead end. Is it? I feel like this is a dead end. Where is this taking me? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> this is either the totally wrong way or the totally right way. Which do you think it is, guys? Wow. I bet that'll fetch more than a few caps. No. Alright, that was worth it. That's why they sent us all the way up here, is to get that loot. Is it going to stick us, guys? I hope. Fingers crossed it's at the... Right at that crate. Oh, my gosh. I still got to fight super mutants. <laughs> Go ahead and hide, little blue. I can't believe I didn't I've save. Okay. Actually, not that far back. We'll go with this guy right here. I didn't know this was a door you could open. That's it. Guess what we're gonna do right now, guys? We're gonna say game save. <laughs> spine? Ay, ay, ay. I don't want a spine, guys. Just stand still! Bleed! Bleed and die! <laughs> I 
Welcome to the other side. Where you at, Prest? Oh, that's better. All right, good job, buddy. Now, back to the loot. Where did that loot go? Here it is. Another game save. Playing it safe, guys. Playing it safe. You know how it goes. Gotta learn. Oh, that's not the way. This is the way. Upsy, 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 daisy. Oh, that's what it means. I don't need that 10 mil pissed. Pissed. <laughs> what, did he fall? Did you fall? I'm all mocking him even though I'm doing all this for a second time because I fell. He did fall. They're getting ready to, like, is this a dude or a chick? They're getting ready to chop this person up and eat him up. Grind their bones to make their bread. Uh -oh. Forgot about Trey. Alright, another game save. And let's be on our way. So 65 meters to wherever we're trying to go. I feel like we activated some ghouls. General, Boston Commons has a bad reputation. We we'll just don't come back from here. And nobody knows why. Scary. Well, I think what that calls for is a game save, an upgrade. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I want to upgrade. Either intelligence or charisma. You got four and five. Okay, let's go with charisma. Uh, we're just going in. We're getting ready to go into a firefight. Let's go with something. Let's go with something that has a uh, gun stuff. Like, not scrounger, commando. Do I have automatic weapons? Non-automatic weapons do 40%. Okay, I'm going to get this guy. No. This one. Yeah, okay. One more game save. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, we got a ghoul over here. I don't think they're going to show up, though. Boop. <laughs> Have a good one.